If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Link is in the description below. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you a full Premier League upgrade squad builder. Now, I'm using a formation that I hate this FIFA. Honestly, I despise it, but there's only one upgraded Premier League left back and, you know, he's not very good. So I thought I'd hack this formation, go with it and, uh, yeah... Because there's a lot of strong centre-backs, I thought I'd give it a go. So in there, we've got Petr Cech. You could have Joe Hart. You could have Butlins in form, of course. There's many options now because we're on the third batch of upgrades at the time of making this video. So we've got a lot of choices, but this is just the, the players that I'm using at the minute. So the first one is Koscielny. There's a few Arsenal players in this team, as you probably have guessed. Second one is going to be Chris Smalling. As a Man United fan, I'm delighted with the upgrade. As you can see, it's pretty substantial compared to some upgrades, so I'm very happy with that. And the next player is going to be Kurt Zuma. And what am I doing? Ah, wrong way. There we go. Kurt Zuma. So the three centre-backs, all very strong, have good pace, so hopefully that makes up for the piss-poor formation. Now... The first CDM is going to be Kabai, of course, you could go with a few other options, as I say, uh, but th this guy's pretty solid, you could go with uh, Coquelin, he's a decent CDM. Now, I'm using a Cam in CDM for the second one, and I, I don't like doing this, but I can't leave him out, and because of the current Cam I've got in the team, he has to go in CDM, because he's a little bit more defensive, well, I say defensive, he's a bit stronger than the current Cam I've got, he's only got 45 defense. But it's Paye. I cannot not use him in the in the team. We've got a double negative there. But anyway, um, I bought him ages ago for way more than what he's worth. I think he's like 100k now, this inform. But yeah, honestly, he's very, very good. And he's worth sacrificing a defensive player to put him in the team, to be honest. Um, then the next player, we've got Mares. You could, of course, go with Delefeu. He's a very solid option, but I could not not go with Mares. Now, I've got some informs and some informs I don't have purely because... Uh, I either can't afford them or I just wanted to try individual players and yeah, it's a bit of a mixed matched um, team in terms of informs or not. Next player is Martial, obviously he's a United fan, delighted this guy got one. Hopefully he gets a skill move upgrade when the batch comes out because I think he warrants four star skills at least. And uh, yeah, a very good upgrade this one, uh, 81 rated, I've used him a fair few times I think. Even though my stats are pretty shit with him, that's because he's been playing left mid a lot of the time. Uh, the Cam, Arsenal fans will be delighted with this one. He does deserve it this season. He's been terrific. That's Ozil. And that's, again, why I have um, Paye in CDM, because Ozil only has 24 defence. So he'd be slightly worse as a CDM. 70k, I'm not sure what he goes for now. I've probably lost a lot of coins on him. Um... Yeah, he's a bit cheaper now. I'm going to sell these players um, as soon as this squad's done and then buy them back when they're cheap. Like, check is like 10, 12k. It's crazy. And the two strikers are going to be the inform England strikers uh, that have been subs like unbelievable this season. We've got Jamie Vardy's in form. Uh, looks very, very good. It's a shame about the skill moves. Neither of them have uh, good skill moves. But very strong and uh, good shooting stats, physical stats, all that. And, um, well, Harry Kane's six foot two, and Jamie Vardy's the, uh, the, the pace, pacey player. So they complement each other very well. And, uh, yeah, Harry Kane about 71k. I bought Vardy when he was extinct for 200k, planning to sell him for more. But I forgot. So I've lost about 100k on Vardy. But, yeah, that's the full upgraded team. Of course, you could make many changes. You could put it a four at the back formation. I forgot the upgraded left back off the top of my head, but you could put Bellerin, another Arsenal player, in right back if you want. But anyway, I'll get into the highlights, tell you what I did like about this team and what I didn't. Mainly the thing I didn't like is the formation. But anyway, let's get into that. Hopefully you do enjoy in here. As I say, I despise this formation. And I'm not going to lie, the four results that I played, I played four games with this team and I drew every single one. I don't know how. I drew 1-1-1. One, one, one. No, sorry, 2-1-1, one, one. I drew 1-3-3, one, three, three, and I drew 1-4-4. Four, four. So, I, I don't know, I just couldn't win, but I didn't lose either. So, it is unbeaten, uh, so as to speak. But I think it's the, the formation, it just means everything's a little bit more disjointed. So, I would sacrifice one of the defenders, uh, well, the centre-backs, to put in the left-back and the right-back, like I suggested, and then use any formation you want. Uh, a 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two wide would probably be best for this sort of team, and then sacrifice either Paye or Kabai. Now, Paye isn't as effective in CDM as I 
said he wouldn't be and as you would probably guess because he's not supposed to be a CDM but he's still relatively solid and comes up with uh, some key passes and I think he scored one or two goals in the games I played. Ozil as a cam, I didn't notice too much difference between his normal card. I'm sure his inform and when he gets his team of the year that'll be a substantial upgrade but it felt similar to his 87. It's still really good but uh, the rest of the players, Mores, um, Martial, Kane, Vardy, I could notice a difference between their normal cards. Um, well, three of those players are in form, so that's probably why. But uh, yeah, I would recommend you try out most of these upgrades, but just not all in the same team and not with this formation. That's the best thing to take out this video. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.